and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a 2023 Toyota Tundra Platinum in the color silver. Let's take a look. Starting up front underneath the hood, you'll find a 3.5 liter V6 engine, automatic transmission, gets up to 437 horsepower and 583 pound foot of torque. Of course up front we have LED headlights, customary daytime running lights, and the fog lights. Looking across the front bumper, you will find these little round nodules. Those are your front parking sensors. And on the grill, right under the logo, is your front camera. As you move along to the sides, we have the black alloy wheels here, side mirrors with integrated turn signals, blind spot monitoring, and puddle lights underneath. And then on the front doors is where you'll find your platinum trim badge. Rear windows all come with factory tinting. And up top here is where you will find your bed lights. Currently they are turned off, but they can be turned on or work automatically with the opening and closing of doors. In between them, we'll find a couple of additional cameras. Those contribute to a neat trick that we'll take a look at in a minute up in the cab. As we approach the back here, we have that Tundra emblem imprinted. And along the rear bumper, we again have those backup parking sensors. Underneath, we'll find your spare tire there. Toolkit is behind the second row seats in the rear there. To open up your rear space here, you can press the button in the handle space right here. Use the one on the fob or on your driver's side rear taillight. Press the button right here and it'll pop right open softly for you there. On the top of your tail bed, you'll find the Tundra emblem once again. Take a quick look along the inside of the bed. On the right hand side, you'll find an additional power outlet located right at the edge. And then to close it up, just reach down and bring up your tailgate. Next, let's take a look at the inside. So looking back here, you'll see your internal upholstery is the black leatherette with this blue stitching and then this really nice blue detailing that you'll find throughout all of the seats. Rear passengers have a great view of the panoramic moonroof, as well as having a built-in armrest slash cup holder located right in the middle. This is easily folds back away to increase seating space. Up top, you'll find this little strap in right by the rear middle seat head, and you'll find another one on the outside corner of the rear passenger side seat. If you pull on these, it allows you to move your seats forward just a little to access the storage space behind. Rear seats are much the same, or the, the lower seats here. Pull on the little strap located on either side, and it will allow you to open up the space to access all of the additional storage. Both the backs of your front passenger and driver's seats have pouch storage attached to them. Back of the console has this additional cup holder space, as well as having tri-level both heated and cooled seats with different colors to indicate which one is in use, and plenty of charger space down below. The unit does come with both, both rubber and carpet mats. Both of them are just waiting for installation upon the customer's request. In the door, plenty of additional storage. Again, the black with the blue stitching, and you have a sight of that nice ambient lighting that you'll find throughout the front of the cab too. Windows have built-in sunshades, which easily attach up top and can unroll and go flat in with the side of the door frame. Great for just keeping the sun out of everybody in the back's eyes. Then as you move forward, take a look at your handle. You'll find this little divot located right here, indicating keyless entry. You can tap your hand here to lock and unlock. Inside your driver's door, again, ambient lighting, blue stitching, and black leather. And then we have the power windows for front, back, and child safety lock. Power lock system and side mirror controls. Controls on the left here allow you to position your side mirrors to be flat with the body of the truck. These can work automatically, which is what it's currently set at, or you can use them manually to put them in or out at your own control. Underneath this is where you have your memory seat settings, which of course means you have power adjustable seats. You have this feature on the passenger front side as well. Back front up, down, and lumbar support. This little button here allows you to adjust the support right underneath of your knees. Then on the bottom left hand side of the dash is your hood release latch. Above that we have the controls for your heated leather steering wheel, AC 120 volt power, your puddle lights, 
This extension allows you to move your side mirrors out or in, depending on what your needs are, especially useful if you are towing a trailer. We then have your rear parking sensors, odometer trip, dash brightness, automatic on off headlamp controls and controls for your bed lights. Driver's steering wheel is power, tilt and telescopic. And let's hop up here and take a look at the rest of the steering wheel features. So left hand side here you have the controls for your dash display, hands free communication and volume control. Right hand side we have the volume controls on the bottom and adaptive cruise control up top including your sonar and your lane departure. Looking up from here you'll notice this little black dugout in the front of your dash space. If you look closely you'll notice a little bit of symbols and numbers up top here. This is your heads up display. Great so that you know your speed and some other information while driving without taking your eyes off of the road. Just over from there we have another little storage compartment with a 12 volt adapter. Under that is your infotainment display screen. Really nice large screen up here so there's no need to be squinting at what is being displayed. It's where you access much of the information about your daily driving experience, including your optional navigation and all of your audio listening. The unit does come with AM, FM, and, ra and satellite radio as displayed here. It also has full Bluetooth connectivity for both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, as well as optional USB adapters. Under that climate control center, we have the dual climate control so that you and your front passenger can have your own unique temperature settings, or you can sync them up to work in unison. Under that is your defrost for front and rear windshield, as well as your side mirrors. And then on either side, you'll find both heated and cooled tri-levels. Just like in the rear space, they have the different colors so that you know which ones you have on at all time. On the right, you have your USB adapter. On the left, volume control. Just beside that is your push start ignition and trailer controls. More trailer controls. And then your surround view camera. You press this in, take a look upwards, and you can see the full circle view of everything around you. This combined with the parking sensors makes sure that you know that you are safe and everything around you is safe no matter what way you're coming or going. Press it again to make it disappear. And then you have your traction control as well as four ways and parking brakes. Gear shift behind that is your driving and towing mode and then your two wheel four high and four low. Plenty of storage in this middle area here, including up front here, you'll notice this little black rectangle with a little symbol on it, and the glowing green dot. This indicates the space to be a wireless charging pad for all compatible devices, and the material is made out of, plus having this little lip on the edge, allows you to keep an eye on your phone at all times without it moving around too much when you are in motion. Just behind that we have the pop away cup holders depending on what your needs are, really great feature. And then your middle console space, which has this little moving tray part and has additional chargers inside. Looking up from here on your dash, we have a great view of that ambient lighting. And if you look closely, you'll notice the platinum emblem etched on the side as well. Then looking upwards on your rear view mirror, you'll find these controls with one, two, or three dots. Those are your garage door openers. And now we have this other little trick. Currently, the rear view mirror is just a normal mirror reflective surface. Flip the switch and it becomes a camera. That is the use of the little cameras you find in the back right between your tail bed or your bed lights. This is a really great built-in feature just in case you have anything inside your cab, whether it's passengers or cargo, that is blocking your sight here just a little bit too much. You can just completely surpass that and look directly behind you. No worries about anybody being in the way. Above that, we have your sunglasses compartment, SOS button, ambient lighting controls, overhead lighting controls, controls for your moonroof, and then on the left is the control for your power retractable rear windshield. Pushes in and pulls out like any other power window control would, but if we take a look back, You'll be able to see how it functions. Push it in and you'll see the windshield go down, pull it towards you, and it rolls back up. Great little built-in feature just for some extra airflow in the cab. Thanks again folks for joining us on this full video tour for this 2023 Toyota Tundra Platinum. 
in the color silver. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.